I'm James Klingerman from Indiana Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Academy, and uh, unfortunately I've seen this horrible, horrible, horrible self-defense video going around, and it seems a cycle. It's always the same garbage techniques that honestly will not work. Um, they're going to make somebody mad and probably get you killed. So let me first talk about what I've seen and why it doesn't work. Um, so what typically happens is in, in these self-defense scenarios, some random guy walks up to a random woman and puts his arm right here on her, very lovingly. And then he stands there, legs wide open, prepared to get beat up, okay? So, number one, this doesn't happen, okay? Uh, in an assault situation, nobody's coming up behind somebody and just, just, just gently hugging, okay? If there is a grip around the neck, it's either a drag down or it's a choke, okay? Now, a proper choke will put you unconscious in four seconds. All right, so we'll talk a little more about that in a minute. But these techniques I see typically here, and then they're saying, oh, stop the foot. Okay, boom. Awesome. I probably have shoes on. I might have steel toe boots on. And you don't have much power here. You're too close. You can't wind up. Even if, even if AJ here was able to stop my foot, it's not going to hurt me that bad. Okay, you can literally break my foot with adrenaline going and everything. Does absolutely nothing. Okay, now I'm gonna show you something, watch this. Technique number two is the elbow to the ribs. Hark, hark, hark. Nothing, there's zero power here. Absolutely zero power. Not to mention, you're not hitting anything vital or anything that's gonna hurt me, okay? Garbage, garbage, trash technique. The other was the groin shot. Now, I get a lot of, uh, get a lot of um, kickback for this. Like, I don't believe in groin shots overall in, in self-defense scenario. Reason being, guys have been protecting their nuts their entire life, okay? It's not an easy shot. If that were the case, every fight between two guys, they'd walk up, they'd kick each other in the balls, and they would both be out, okay? Reason number two, when adrenaline's going, we actually don't feel it until later, okay? So, also here, no one stands this way, and she can't really reach them, right? Okay? It's my wife, so please don't hit me hard. But she, it's not there. If I were coming up behind somebody, I would not be standing in a square stance. I would have one leg forward. Boom. Okay? There's no damage for the foot. There is no damage for these little tiny elbows. And there's no way she can reach my groin with, with this. All right? And I also heard somebody say to use your heels as a weapon. Ladies, I understand you have to wear a heel sometimes, but be smart. Wear something you can run in because that is your best method of self-defense. Okay? So look, we've got a couple options here. In the weird scenario somebody walked up and grabbed you. Number one, protect your neck. Okay? I always tell people getting choked unconscious in a self-defense scenario is dying. If you get choked out, you are dead. Okay? And how long does it take? Four seconds. If I walk up, boom, and I grab her neck, she has four seconds or less to get out of this, okay? So you notice what she did. She immediately went wrist and elbow. She controlled that and she tucked her chin. I'm not under her neck. I'm not blocking off her carotid arteries, okay? So she's got three basic uh, directions to escape this, okay? Number one, she can turn and step behind me, boom, and back, boom, okay? That is better than stomping the foot elbowing or trying to kick to the groin. Number two, she can get her hips under me and throw me over the top. Again, she blocks the neck. She doesn't die. Okay? Boom, over. Boom. Number three, she steps under the armpit. One, uh, boom. Okay? Now, they're okay, easy, lady. She's <laughs> excited sometimes. Quite a few different variations of those three, but there are three much more applicable techniques to getting out of this grip, okay? So please remember, ladies, if there's some weird circumstance where somebody grabs you around your neck, protect your neck first, okay? 100%, without a doubt, without question, two hands on one, don't die. Stop doing this garbage foot stomp, groin shot, elbow strike. It doesn't work. It's going to get you killed.